Do you and your team utilize Pipedrive? Well, introducing Jotform Prefill's 2.0 newest integration with Pipedrive. Hey everyone, welcome to Jotform. I'm Kimberly, and it's no surprise that most people just don't like filling out forms. But if they get a form that has their most important information already filled in for them, like their name, their email, their phone number, their address, the likelihood of them filling in the other needed form fields is so much higher. So let me show you how to integrate this pre-fill with Pipedrive. I went ahead and I chose a form to work with, and I'm also assuming that you've already connected this form to Pipedrive. But to get the pre-fill going, we're gonna go up to the top, we're gonna click on Publish. Then on the left-hand side, we'll choose Pre-fill and then Pipedrive Pre-fill. Now, if this is your first time connecting within Prefill to Pipedrive, you're going to need your API key. You would place that where it says select a Pipedrive account. But since I've already done it before, I'm just going to need to choose my account. Next, we need to choose a list to work from. I'm going to choose people. And now we're going to match the fields from Pipedrive with the fields that I have in my Jot form. So I want their name and I want their email. Perfect, we'll save settings. Now, if I get to this point and I realize, you know what, there was another field that I wanted to choose, we can choose pre-fill settings and we can go back. And another thing with this is you can also have hidden fields in your form be pre-filled with Pipedrive. So for example, maybe their years of service or the team that they're on, you can have that hidden so that way they don't even have to know that it's there. So let's go ahead and click on add a new pre-fill. Now that we're here, if you have multiple people that you would like to choose, you would check those boxes or you can even utilize the search option. Since it's just me, I'm gonna go ahead and choose myself and we'll choose create. Now from here, we have this drop down arrow that says can edit or read only. So if you want your users to be able to edit the data that was pre-filled, make sure you leave it on can edit. Now, if it's something that you do not want them to edit, then you would leave it on read only. Now the three dots next to that, we can send the invitation this way. We can copy the URL to send it to someone one-on-one. -on -one. We can rename it or we can delete. But from here, I can come to this link. I can click on it and we see my form is completely filled out. My name is there, my email is there. Because we left it editable, I can come up here and I can add my last name. But from here, all I have to do is just choose what time I wanna connect with my boss. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about Jotform 2.0's new integration with Pipedrive, please let us know and I'll see you next time.